definitely running because it seems like everything that they do, they are just able to. Sh uh, Mineski is able to shut conspiracy out. They have to. They have to change it up a little bit. I'm not. I'm honestly not sure how, but they did perform really well with that pharmacy. I'm actually pretty confused at why they didn't bring it out. Um, just now, they managed to take Miniski by surprise. Will they be bringing this out? Not too sure. Uh, we could even see a Widowmaker play here uh, that's usually being start, uh, that usually starts off in this kind of King's Row map. We, we can see they managed to use it to scout. So, yes, change, Conspiracy needs to change things up just a little bit. Their current composition, if they mirror it, they know that they won't be able to beat Miniski out. Let's see if they'll be doing something different this time around. Yeah, so there you go. Murder gonna go for the Widowmaker. Zeth? Interesting. Hmm. With uh, Torbjorn? Probably not sticking to that. Uh, but we can look at Mineski's com comp right now because they are yeah, defending. Yeah, that would be, yeah. Yeah. So, Seaman, of course, on the Genji as well. Uh, Diva, Mister. Jorun on the Lucio, Gibo on the Zenyatta. These two supports has been pretty consistent throughout. Superlocks on the Winston and Home on the Tracer. Home has been pretty flexible as well uh, when going for the Soldier, for the Tracer, for the McCree. So he has been a pretty reliable carry on the side of Mineski. Probably, okay, uh, probably Conspiracy needs something to mark Seaman out to keep him in place. Can use a Diva there to make sure that they won't be able to get all the values out of his shots. That could be one thing they can do. Oh wow, instant shot onto Murdu. He has to swap out now. And he actually goes for the Reaper, a bit of close combat specialist. Let's see if he will be able to teleport into the back line. Uh, I mean like, the discords are coming out, but it just seems like they're discording the wrong targets. Milk Streak is gonna get dropped instantly. Fugilin taking a lot of damage and he'll get taken out also. Oh Zed yeah. doing a really good job, gets a triple kill with that McCree and Murdu comes and helps him out also. So what seemed like was gonna be a, like a quick wash, um, came back and they were able to salvage the situation. Mineski dropped the ball on that occasion and Conspiracy are gonna be able to get that first point and start the payload push. Wow, this is exactly what happened in game one. They chose payload, uh, the hybrid map of King's Row and it just exploded into the into the into the scene like we saw from uh Tildong gaming they just went in took the point with such ease there so let's see if they will be able to maintain this push there they did start off really strong good job to conspiracy there and uh still no diva there pretty interesting team composition given that the nope matrix has been performing pretty well for both teams as well uh we do have mesa on the diva as well seeing that he will be using the defense matrix he's been managing it pretty well actually yeah, so good placement right here by Mineski with the sound with the barrier, uh, working together with Diva's defense matrix and uh, sound barrier coming out from Conspiracy. They want to push in. Zayf has a dead eye. Here comes the pulse bomb. Takes out Milk Street. Good work from home. Maestro onto D uh, Drake Yon. So that's two tanks down, and now they know that without those two tanks, Conspiracy can't really push through. Mm -hmm. And home also switches out to a Soldier 76 into a more, uh, going for a bit more ranged Assassin build. Uh, wow, it looks, oh, <laughs> nice, Zeph. Zeph has actually been exploding with the McCree there. Uh, just going in, taking all the important kills as well, so good job to Zeph. He goes for the trade though, uh, actually going for a 2 for 1 trade, good job on him and Conspiracy now finding, finding the favourable end of this trade, they will be continuing to push that payload. Murduk on 77% on his all, remember Zeph? the whole time has had dead eye ready yeah he, did, he didn't need dead eye so he's just waiting for that opportune moment mm -hmm. and then once it hits he's probably gonna wait for milk streak uh to get the to get that the graviton surge to go mm -hmm. because right now uh but i mean conversely they need to take out mister before they drop the the dead eye but here comes the dragon play by c-man c-man able to take out one no comes the sound barrier from Aryan. so that's going to help his team out and that's going to be it for the dragon blade so not very very uh consistent zayf able to get that dead eye takes out maester in 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 reply and uh very fortunately did not die to c-man who tried to deflect that old oh, milk street now with the graviton search is he gonna pop it has no uh has no charge but he's able to take out Joran, so another support going down. Gibbo is up, and now it's going to be a battle of the ults. Yeah, that's right. Conspiracy now finally doing really well. They are going for the counter ultimate play as well. Transcendence to stop Transcendence to stop the Dragon Blade as well, and they were protecting Zaf when he was using his Dead Eye. So finally, this amount of coordination, really, really good job. But still, 
falling a bit short to Mineski. Mineski will be continuing on the payload as well. But still, this is this is something very optimistic to watch. Conspiracy now coordinating the ultimates really well, going for the counter ultimate play, and then being able to take out the targets that are important. So Milkstreak right now is on 100% charge and uh, just gonna wait for the barrier to go down and then pop that gravity on search. He's gonna melt through the mech first because he, he cannot afford to have his uh, ult uh, be observed. Sound barrier comes out, looks, needs to get it, gets the sound barrier, uh, gets the gravity on surge in, but then there's no one to to, uh, to suck in except for Maester and Maester will go down then. Gibbo will get taken out home also. Now Conspiracy wiping the board, slowly starting to make their way back into the game. 2 minutes 20 on the clock and now they're gonna add more time because they finally hit that checkpoint. That's right, Zeph now. Okay, MVP, Zeph being a carry on the McCree finally showing his worth. He's doing really good job, a good job on this King's Row map. They'll be pushing to continue pushing the payload there. Merdu actually going one on one with the Reaper as well. We'll be able to successfully push him off the perch. He has the high ground right now. He has the Death Blossom ready to go as well. He's looking oh. for an opportunity. He will be able to take it. Taking out the Seaman as well before trading off his life. Drakeon pushing in, trying to zone out the whole of Mineski back into that side corner. And uh, the payload's almost there. Milkstreak needs to get his ult, get, needs, needs to get his bubble, gets the two bubbles. 100% charge, takes out the last man standing who was home when he popped that visor and did such a good job that that allowed the payload to come in and they'll take the first round 3-0 with how much time remaining? Uh, three, three minutes. minutes. It's really good job. They, you can see now the coordination on Conspiracy has been top notch. Uh, really kudos to Zef also who could explode into the scene as well, taking out all those important using with his headshots. Yeah, so Mineski are not invincible. No, oh, yeah. So we could see a resurgence from Conspiracy. Maybe there's a Conspiracy now for them to win. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, you never know, it could go either way. Can they put up a successful defense? That's the question. They're really good on offense. Mineski have come to show that they know when to use their alts, they know when to stay back. And uh, Seaman, I think, is going to be a big key into whether they win this. If he lands one good Dragon Blade, that's going to be it. Fugalin and Aryan have, been, have shown that they're pretty easy targets. And so Conspiracy need to need to focus on not only out DPSing Mineski, but also they need to make sure that they protect their, their supports. Interesting to note as well that Milkstick is running the Zarya and not a D.Va, so we don't have a Nope Matrix on the side of Conspiracy. So if Mineski can make use of this fact to use these kind of shots, for example, Tactical Visor that goes against uh, this kind of uh, that Defense Matrix effectively shuts down, that could be advantageous for them. Nonetheless though, they still have to wait for the Winston Barrier. Drakeon has been using pretty good Winston Bubbles as of late, so that has been pretty good on the side of Conspiracy. Um, a, a lot of strategies to actually take note of on the side of Miniski. I mean, I think Conspiracy, they've come to the point that they know they need to protect the supports. And so that's why Milk Streak has gone for the Zarya, because he can just bubble them uh, the minute they call out that they're being pursued. And then with that bubble, he gets more charge, and then that allows him to push forward uh, together with his support, was still alive. Menesi coming in, who do we have that's home with the Widowmaker? Not gonna be able to do too much damage because the whole of Conspiracy are just gonna use that, uh, use that wall to their benefit. Yep, and they are still going on to the point, but actually we see Murduk there caught out of position. Will he pay though? No, he is able to reform out of where he gets healed there. Meanwhile, Maester actually gets taken out of the mag, and that means that there is no more D.Va going in. The dive composition has been destroyed, and we see Miniski now actually going for a reset. First engagement, Conspiracy actually coming up on top. Z-Man going in, deflex very much, but Millstreak is already on full charge, so he's just gonna melt through everyone else. Murdoch needs to just get in there, get into the into the whole mess of it and just take out as many as he can and put on as much damage as possible so that Zayf and Milkstreak can just wrap it up. Uh, Drakeon has respawned so he's back onto the point and he's gonna be there to help his team out with that damage barrier. Milkstreak still on about half charge, 75% on his ult, slowly but surely getting there. Uh, but one thing we need to watch out for is Gibbo. Gibbo is, is 75 on his transcendence charge and uh, Seaman is on 85. So once they hit that uh, that transcendence, he's gonna come in with the Dragon Blade most likely. That's right, and Seaman now has the Dragon oh, he pops Blade. It ulti. Here he pops go. it ulti. 
Oh, well, going for the backline, but Sound Barrier coming in to try to defend against the Dragon Blade. Actually doing a really good job. The Dragon Perfect Blade. timing. Yes, fantastic. And now, look at this. Conspiracy actually having superior ultimate discipline now. Uh, going in for the Dead Eye to able to stop everyone in. Dragon Blade was actually initiated from Mineski's side, but Conspiracy responded splendidly. And now they actually come up on top again. So we have Graviton Surge from Milkstreak. He's going to want to bubble up and get more charge. He's at 16 Murduk with the Death Blossom. He's going to try and bait it out. He just needs to get that Grav down. They need to burn through this Winston. He, they need to take our Super Locks almost down. Transcendence is popped by Gibbo though. There, Everyone is coming in. He's going to drop that Grav pretty soon, I think. Just waiting. There we go. Grav gets down. Dramage is in. Here comes the Death Blossom. Vasa will pop through. Drakeon pushes through together with Ful uh, Fulligan who gets that heal on and those discords and once again they force Mineski to reset. Wow, it looks like every fight is initiated by Mineski and now it is Conspiracy who is able to just go against anything that is being thrown at them. So this is really really good place. They finally found their tempo and now they're just doing their best to capitalize on it now. They're going in again. Winston Bubble coming in but instantly being destroyed. Here comes Tactical Visor by Whom seeing that the Winston Bubble is going down. Really good place but we see Conspiracy now just taking, hiding in that, in that building. Really, really good job. Here comes the Winston with the Zarya Bubble on him as well. Whom now Dead repositioning. And here comes the Dead Eye as well. Does he use it though? He doesn't have to because they're just destroying Mineski right now. They just can't find a way through and it's they're just playing so clever using that house as a as a natural defense as a natural barrier against Mineski because Mineski can't push through if they push through Milk Street just pops his bubble uh, and his shield and just gets that extra charge and then they come in for the counter attack or Drakeon just puts his sound barrier down on the ground and just blocks like 600 damage so like e either way they can't win yeah so last, less, last 30 seconds on the side of Mineski. Now they are getting a bit desperate right now. Here comes the Death Blossom, a bit premature. Won't be able to take Mill State out, oh. but it's responded <laughs> instantaneously <laughs> with a triple kill on their dead eye. Really good job on Conspiracy right now. They are really almost five men down on the side of Mineski. 10 seconds left on the clock. Looks like no one can actually come in. Zeph there cleaning up the mess. They actually have a six man team kill. Six kill, six man kill by Zaf. Great work from him. Last overtime, here we go. Death Blossom coming out from uh, from Murduk, able to get one in the form of Superholics. Seaman is taken out as well. And now the two supports are the only two left. They're gonna get, <laughs> he gets slipped, slept on, uh, does Drakeon. And now Transcendence is forced to pop because they need to get onto their point to keep that overtime going. But now they're gonna get zoned out by Drakeon who then pushes them back. And Conspiracy take King's Row. They are on match point but now we're gonna get forced to game five yeah so conspiracy really doing a fantastic job in this map i would even say that was really convincing conspiracy really coming up on top in all those team fights they knew the ultimates they had the ultimate discipline there and and zeph for sure actually uh being man of the match as well uh going in with those fantastic dead eyes Going in with those fantastic hit shots as well. Uh, yeah, conspiracy. Finally finding what they need. Yeah, finally finding the tempo, and uh, that has to give them some sort of confidence as we head into the into these latter maps. Can they build on this momentum? That's going to be the big question right there. And uh, hopefully they can, and we, uh, and it makes it uh, a closer game. We, it's been an exciting the cast so far. Mm -hmm. um, anything goes. Anything goes. Yeah, I mean Mineski. Props to them though that they've they've managed to hold conspiracy out for three maps, but now this is uh, this is going to show us whether conspiracy are a team to be reckoned with because if they can build on this momentum and shake off what has happened for the past three maps, then it's really going to show you know the type of character and the type of caliber that this team is. Mm -hmm. And we do have a replay for you coming up. But let's see what we have here. Uh, this is going to be in the, the looks like the final push actually. This was the uh, yeah one of the defenses. So they were forced back by the alts that uh, they were forced back by the alts <laughs> by the yeah. alts that uh, that uh, Mineski had. But then what happened was um, forced back by the alts that Mineski had, and then came back a bit, and then pushed. Uh, with the counter attack once the alts had elapsed with the grab surge um yeah, yeah. um
that's it was really good job. I mean, they they did use all the ultimates in quick succession when Minisky used it. Conspiracy responded with their own ultimate, and they have been shutting them out almost every time they came in. So really good job on Conspiracy. They they finally managed to find their groove to to yes. get into the game. Yeah, and that's good. That's good to see. So, like we said, the game wasn't. Uh, well, th- I mean, the like, they're not too far away. The two teams, mm-hmm. and I think Conspiracy finally realized that you know they have what it is uh, in them to to really get back into this game. And they took previous match Kings Row three zero. So it's it's not like you know it was some some fluke, but they actually are up. They have the goods. They just need to deliver. Okay, we have. We have the next map now, but we can't really see it here. A uh, bit of an issue here, but we will wait for...